Hi there, welcome back. Well, you probably heard by now that the 2023 Z06 build and price tool is now up and firing. So today what I wanna do is go into that build and price tool, kinda of show you how to get around, and I'm gonna do two builds. I'm gonna do one sweet street ride, probably about mid-range in price, and one killer badass track car. It's gonna be more on the high end in price. But this will not be the video where I try and see how much I can spend on the Z06. I already did that one, and it came out close to $200,000. I think both of these cars are gonna come out well less than that, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna need my glasses. I've got my laptop in front of me, and we'll get on it. Okay, so here I am on the Chevy.com website. First thing you gotta do is go right up here to vehicles, and over here to performance, and right over here to Z06. It starts out as orange, but we're gonna change that. And you go right down here, very near the top, right under that first video to the build and price tool. And you click on that button there. Don't worry about the zip code. You can just click that away. Click that away. Let's go. Alrighty. So if you notice some jump shots or some edits in here, that's because I'm gonna edit out any of the lag load times, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the sweet street ride, which has got to be a convertible, right? So you click on convertible, that takes you right to $114,000. In the trim for the street ride, we're gonna go 2LZ, which is the, the equivalent of the 2LT in the Stingray. Then we go to exterior, Okay, we're at $126,000. On the exterior, for the streetcar, we're gonna go with Rapid Blue. That's an extra $500. But it really looks good. And stripes and graphics, I don't think we're going with any stripes on the streetcar. We're gonna leave it just that beautiful blue. Next up is wheels. Now these are probably some of the best stock wheels I've seen on the Corvette. It's definitely better than the Stingray wheels. I really like these machine faced fronts. Those are my favorites. Those are an extra $1,500, $1,495. They've got a nice, what's this one here? Tech bronze, which looks good on the, on the, on the mist, red mist, but doesn't look so good on the rapid blue. So we'll cancel those. And you see the tech bronze is $3,700. Okay, so we went with the, the, the machine front. We're now up to $127,000. On the wheels, for the street car, we're gonna leave the center caps, the cross flags. Next up is interior. Okay, for the interior, on the blue car, let's go with the adrenaline red, but not the dipped. We're gonna go with the G22 seats. That's gonna add about $1,700. You gotta click select. Right, that's gonna take a color combination override for some reason. Is it gonna even show me that? There it is. Let's go with the red seat belts. That's an extra $500. All right, next up is the packages. I don't think we're gonna get any packages on this car. We're not going for the performance car. This is just gonna be the street car. We're trying to keep this mid-range in price. We're already at 130,000. And then to options. On the exterior, let me see. I'm gonna leave the nacelles rapid blue. No visible carbon fiber ground effects. No carbon fiber wing. Mechanical options. I think we need the, uh, the front lift, the black exhaust tips. I don't see the mag ride here. I wonder if that comes standard with mag ride. Okay, then on the interior, I wanna go with the two-tone seats, kinda of tone that red down a little bit. Right here, that's another $600. I wanna go with the stealth interior, and I wanna go with the $1,500 carbon fiber trim package. That's gonna really make that interior look good. You don't need any of this other stuff. Okay, so we're $136,000 for this beautiful street ride. I think that looks pretty good. Look at that. 
Good looking car, huh? That's your mid-priced Sweet Street Z06 right there. It's got the little wickers. These are adjustable wickers here in the back. You can pull those up if you're gonna go for some canyon runs or maybe an autocross or something. I mean, this is a capable, very capable track car. Look at that, beautiful. I like this car a lot. For $136,000, I better like it, huh? There's those wheels. I do like the machine face wheels. Let's see if we can get a side shot with those wheels. Look at that. Beautiful car. So the sweet street ride is going to cost us $136,055. Sounds like a lot of money. So I'll wait till we get to the track car. So now we're going to go to the track car. We're going to go back to the configuration. We're going to choose the coupe for the track. Not too many people running around the track with the top down. On the trim, we're going to go with the 3LZ. We want this to be a badass car. We need the 3LZ to do what we want to do on the interior on this one. On the exterior, we're gonna go with the orange. I like the orange. That's what I've got on my order. On the wheels, you know what we're gonna go with on the wheels, right? Carbon fiber, exposed carbon fiber. $11,995. $11, we have to have the carbon fiber brakes. Not the carbon fire brakes, the carbon brakes. So we're at 144 already. Brake calipers. We're gonna go with the orange calipers. Yes. Into the interior. Kind of the interior. We're gonna go with the competition seats. It's another $500. Seat belt. We're gonna go with the orange seat belts. No, I do not like that red. We're not doing the red. Red and orange aren't really a good combination. I'm gonna go with all black. Okay, packages. Okay, here it is. Here's the Jake graphics. We like that. Z07. Visible carbon fiber for four grand. Two R cup two R tires. 159,000 so far. Okay, the options here. We're gonna go with the carbon flash painted outside mirrors because that wing is going to be black. What are we doing? Carbon fiber. It's a race car, right? $12.85 now. So our price is number $160. Woo! We'll go with the uh, Stealth Flags. Carbon fiber roof, $2,500. We're not going to go with the front lift. That's a performance car. We'll go with the black exhaust. All right, let's look at the interior now. I think this is where I can find my leather stitching. Here we go. Here's the custom yellow stitching. That's what we want. I want the stealth interior, and I want the level two carbon fiber for five grand, and then I also want the carbon fiber, I guess you would call it the level one trim, because you see in here on the level two, this area right in here is still silver. So you gotta get this $1,500 one to fill that in the proper color. Okay, I think we're done. Sorry that I was looking down so much. I just realized I've been looking down this whole darn time, but I think you're gonna like this car. Okay, it's 166,000. 395. There it is. A one badass track machine right there, right everybody. Let's put the roof up. We're going racing. Okay, that was a long load time, but here it is. Okay, look at that. I, I like the way this Jake Strike looks on the rear quarter panel. Doesn't look right without that big wing, but with the big wing, it looks pretty good. Just showing you all the angles here as we go through this real quick. I like the way the wing comes back up here on the top too. Black exhaust tips. It's too bad you can't get the orange calipers on the Stingray, because that's what I would do. I know it's an extra six or seven hundred bucks, but I still would probably do that. Don't tell my wife though. Let's look at that interior. You see it looks good with just that light yellow stitching. All the black, the stealth interior, all the carbon fiber. Man, those cop seats look good. All right, now it's frozen up. So that's what we're gonna go with, okay? Now right here, you see both cars side by side. I forgot the price. I'll post the price though right there on them for you so you can see the difference. I just wanted to go through this with you, show you what was possible, show you what a mid-priced street car would look like and what the high-end track animal would be. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Tim. See ya!